Hey everybody, so um, somebody asked me uh, the other day when I'd mentioned that they were bolting, the vegetables were bolting, which means that they're flowering and soon they'll turn to seed, like these radishes here. Um, how do you stop that from happening? Uh, well, the, you don't plant cool weather crops <laughs> in the hot part of the year, except this saw uh, the spring, the weather was, I would say on average 10 to 15 degrees warmer every day than it normally is. For example, today is going to be 91, I believe. And, um, the average temperature for this time of year is in the high seventies. So um, that is causing these crops, which should be ready to harvest, um, to stop producing the food that we're growing them for and to start producing seeds so that they can reseed themselves once the temperature gets cooler again um, in early fall so that we can, you know, they, they can carry on um, and, and, and regrow themselves when the temperatures are more favorable. So, um, I've mentioned to some of you that you need row covers because I have family who lives in really hot climates. Um, and they said, we can't grow anything. And I said, you need row covers. Um, and it's pretty simple to do. It's pretty inexpensive. Uh, we got this board here at Menards for 39 cents. Um, it's called Lath, L-A-T-H. I think it's for repairing lattice. Um, and then we got these clamps. I still haven't taken the tags off. I did this last night when we got home from the store. These clamps were 99 cents. And then I just took a piece of fabric from what was left of my fabric stash. This is possibly stolen from a quilt that I'm making from my mom. <laughs> And some rubber bands and the purpose is just to create some shade for the plants that you want to keep cooler it's like when you stand in the shade of a tree and if I were to do this to this I can feel instant temperature change um, of about let's say about 10 degrees so we don't want our carrots to start bolting because they're still little babies so I'm gonna give these some food to help them grow because oh my gosh, they've been in this ground forever. Um, and the weather's just been too hot for them. So it's kind of stunted their growth. It went from too cold, too cold, too cold, to too hot. And then we did the same thing over here with a little piece of fabric that we had. Um, our spinach is starting to bolt too, but at least we can save the leaves down here. Uh, but then we have our kohlrabi that has not done anything, probably needs to be thinned out a bit. Our beets, which are kind of starting to grow nicely. And then we have our lettuce, which is definitely gonna bolt if given the opportunity. So we just wanna protect this stuff and hopefully give it a better chance of growing. Um, in all, it cost us less than $10, but like I said, we had the fabric. So if you have to go out and buy a piece of cotton fabric, that's what you want, you want cotton white because it reflects the sun um, if you have lots of cheesecloth you could use that too but a lot of light's going to let through so I would suggest using white cotton fabric you probably depending on your bed I needed about a yard and a half um, and you use a coupon at Joann's and get that for a few dollars so that's one easy way to protect your crops from the sun to keep them from burning up and that's all I hope you get a chance to go out and play in your garden play in a pot of dirt plant something given your space and I'll talk to you later thanks bye